Hi everybody. I wanted to start this off with my big ass glasses because these niggas are goofy and I gotta start it off looking like one of them. <laughs> Let's get into the story time. Y'all, with that being said, let's get right into the motherfucking story time. I have been going crazy on the story times, y'all. I literally had two story times before this, and this is going to be my third one. I'm sharing too much with y'all, and y'all feel like you are too connected to me. I don't like that. I don't like that. But I like talking shit about people that I used to mess with. So I guess I will tell you guys. This story time is going to be how this man played in my face so fucking bad that it wasn't even fucking funny. It wasn't even fucking funny. I told y'all a little bit about it on my whole stories of last summer. But I did not get too much into what he did. I'm just going to make it an entire separate story time so that y'all know how to go watch that one. Okay, so now let's get into this one. So this is gonna start in May, a couple months ago, May. If you guys hear music or people talking in the background, my niece, is, my niece is here and my sister has music on the TV. Besides the point. When I tell you I have never went out before and I was acting up in May, I was outside in May, I was outside in motherfucking May. May, I was outside every day so me and my friends we just had went to went out on Cinco de Mayo and then we were planning on going to Saga Baby so I'm like I'm happy I'm now getting to experience a big friend group and going to the club and going out and having fun and I just want to have fun that's what we're going to do so me and my friend we're gonna call them friend group a so there's no friend group b just want to call them friend group a just to know that there was three people in this friend group a and if i'm talking about one of them then i'm talking about one of them in the friend group you know love all of them still so friend group a i'm in california because it was my niece's birthday around this time and they're like texting me hey we need to buy the tickets to go see sada baby did y'all buy the tickets there was even a point in the group chat that we thought they fucking sold they gave us scam tickets because the tickets weren't showing up but we were actually like planning on going to see sada baby mind you the only time i've ever heard about sada baby was when nikki had that song or when he was going viral from doing that little dance for she wanna see me do your dance that one and then i seen him in concert with Blueface in like 2017 i have pictures of this man with his shirt off with his beard is red i think and that's the only times that i've ever heard about sada baby so i was going for the vibes you ever just want to go and hang out with a friend and you're just going for the vibes like i was just going to vibe out <laughs> like i was just vibing that's what i was going for so i get back from california i'm like looking for an outfit i'm looking how to do my hair like a bitch is stressed the fuck out because i don't know who sada baby is but i don't want to go here looking all ugly as shit so the day comes we're rushing to get there because we're low-key late and we finally get into the club we're chilling we're drinking and my other friend she had a bodysuit on and she didn't really feel like dancing around so i was standing with her i was standing dancing with my other friends my other friend was like turning up so i was turning up with her we were having fun so it comes to a point where i feel this group of guys it was this two guys and then this girl they were standing next to us but they were a little bit farther down from where we were i could feel him looking at us because me and my other friend were dancing and we're like being loud and ghetto like we should be and having fun and we're just talking and we're dancing shaking ass and i could feel him looking at us so me and all my friends we go and we sit by the bar and we're talking and he officially finally one of them it was a dreadhead we're gonna call him bob dreadhead because he's a bob dreadhead how are you we'll get to that so he walks over to us and he starts talking to friend friend group a all of us my plus me so he starts talking to one of my friends talks to all of us says hey how y'all doing and then she starts a conversation with him just a little bit of short talk and then they're talking for a little bit and he looks over to me and he's like oh hey what's your name and i'm like uh zania and he's like oh like i just wanted to come over here and talk to you um so he starts talking to me and we start talking back and forth he was a pretty 
he was fine as fuck and I, it's not even like a okay i don't want to give too much information but he was fine like tusi fine he looked like tusi with dreads okay oh then it just gave me vibrations <laughs> You ever just think about your old sneaking look and you're like, oh, like you just be like, oh, like, but I didn't know. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so we start talking and he's obliterated drunk. First off, don't tell me, oh my God, why'd you ignore the red flags? I didn't. I knew exactly what I was getting myself into. So we're talking and he just starts asking questions about me where are you from what's your name how old you are he's like how old do you think i am i'm like 25 he's like well i'll be 25 for you tonight and i'm like what does that mean being 25 for me tonight he's like no i'll be 25 for you tonight and i'm like no how old are you and he's like i'm 28 mind you like you're 20 we're not even gonna get into that <laughs> we're not gonna get into that because it, it, that's a whole nother story so we vibe out and then he starts like being like hey come take a picture with me he takes out his phone he's going on snapchat i like mind you this is him he's the chair and i'm right here he's tall as fucking he's like this trying to show me in the camera like posting up with me and him and saving in his snapchat i'm like oh you better not be posting and trying to get me caught up and he's like no i just wanted a picture with you so then he starts like okay he i'm like okay maybe he's just drunk he's just drunk he okay i know what you guys are gonna say because i've seen this tiktok of this guy being like you're men if you're an ugly man then women are gonna see everything that you do as harassment but if you're fine you get away with shit and that was that exact fucking situation because if he was ugly he would have he would have gotten away he would have not gotten away with it i would have had to slap the fuck out of him but since i was already feeling him i was like oh my god like her he's like whispering in my ear at the club like come home with me i can eat fat mom out i'm like fat mom like fat mom and then he like starts like touching on me like he starts he did this to me at one point mind you i had a two-piece on and he this is my hoo-ha he goes like this he starts patting her and saying i can eat her out tonight like come home with me i live in gilbert like let's go like come home with me like no and then he was like no like actually i'm just playing never mind because you're never gonna want to leave my house if you come home with me tonight so i'm like just give me your just give me your instagram maybe we could chill so me and my friend group we start walking away from him because i'm like at this point like you're you're doing a little bit okay so then i'm like okay we walk away from him he finds me again he's trying to make me twerk on him and dance with him i'm like okay this is cool but you're hella drunk and i don't want to be around you right now like i understand that but you're drunk and i, I don't want this to be a kind of situation where it's like i'm tipsy you're drunk as fuck i don't want nothing to do with nobody who's overly drunk and i know like this is for everybody please do not deal with nobody who's overly drunk who is incoherent please don't if it gets out of hand please go call the police on the motherfuckers or get their friends to get them off of you but i was not drunk enough to be matching the vibe that he was on to want to go home with them and fuck them that night so um he leaves the club and at this point i'm like okay he's gone he was fine as fuck definitely i'm gonna hit him up later so day later i'm at home me and my friend are on facetime and i'm just like i haven't had no sex in a while like i'm ready to get myself out there like i want to have fun like hoochie hoochie mama like mama is like screaming at me right now like she's screaming at me she wants something so at this time like i'm like girl i'm about to hit up this guy i used to fuck with and i unblocked him that was a guy that was calling me a demon and i was like no like i need to fuck with him uh, and so that i can start feeling like you know like get somebody who i know is easy to fuck with so then i'm like who is going to be my next victim and guess who i seen in my motherfucking likes <laughs> i seen him in my likes and i'm like hey if i see a motherfucking opportunity then i'm going to do it so this is what i do the next day i hit him up and i said hey like why are you liking my pictures and not texting me and he's like oh i got all of my stuff stolen i'm like okay but what does that have to do with you not texting me he's like no like somebody stole my wallet like they stole my stuff like i i had no way of texting you and i'm like oh okay um 
and then the, the conversation just got super dry and i was like immediately like never mind no like he's not a good vibe and i gave up on it but then we me and my friend were talking and i was like no no we're not gonna give up on it we're not gonna give up I, i'm not a loser i'm not gonna give up too fast so i then text him saying what are you on and he's like um he doesn't text me back for like a good 10 minutes so i immediately delete it and then i'm like it's okay i'll leave it alone and he texts me back and says what you want i said i could be to you in the next hour and then he was like okay so then we so i go i get my black ass in the fucking shower i start showering up i'm like i'm going over to see gilbert that's what we're gonna call him we're gonna call him gilbert i went to go see gilbert and i'm like I don't know. He was like, I was like, I'm about to go see Gilbert. <laughs> like, I'm about to go see Gilbert. I'm sorry. I'm about to go see Gilbert. So I got, I dropped, jumped. I jumped. I got in the shower and I jumped my happy ass in my car. He starts texting me asking like, do you know how to swim? Like, do you, like, do you want to swim when you come over? I'm like, yeah, like we can swim. Like, I'm not one of those, no, I'm too pretty to get in a pool. I'm too, this, this, and that. No, bitch, I'm going to jump in a pool. I'm going to jump in a pool. So... I finally get there and tell me why I get there and this other dude from this other car, he draw he drives, he's doing DoorDash. He goes up to my car, like looks in the car, sees me, and then walks up to it and I ring pull the window down and he's like, Where are you from? And I'm like oh, and then he's like, Where are like no, he didn't say where are you from? He's like, where, are you doing DoorDash also also? And I'm like, No, I'm here waiting for my friend and he's like, You got a boyfriend? I'm like, um, something like that and then he's like come get in the car with me like come get in the car with me like get in the car with me like we can have some fun and i'm like what like mind you he was like a, a younger light-skinned boy and i'm like what like what is going on and then his stupid ass comes walking across uh, looking for me bitch no you need to come and get me act like you're my, you're my man and then he's like oh that's your dude right there bye <laughs> and then he walks off so then he comes and gets me and he gives me a tour of all of the pools and then he takes me to his house and he's like oh you could put your stuff down you could get ready we could go to the pool right now and then we go and we go to the pool so the conversation is super awkward because like he could only talk about himself he has not found a point to ask me a question about myself what i'm going through what i'm like and i'm just like what the fuck is the point of this conversation let's just go fuck like let's just go fuck like 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 there's nothing else to talk about let's just go fuck so we get into the pool we're like playing horseback riding like i'm telling him to get on my back and he got then he's like saying come sit on like come sit on me like i can carry you around so then he says like do you want pictures of yourself and i'm like yeah like i'll get some pool pictures some cute pool pictures i'm like get my phone he walks and he gets his own phone he starts taking pictures of me on his phone and he's like okay do you like these and i'm like oh i don't really like those like delete, don't post those or don't don't like what are you about to do with those and he's like oh i'm about to do nothing i just wanted to take pictures of you so i'm like okay that's cool i'm i so i start asking him questions and he's like i've never had anybody to this house yet i just moved in here nobody has came here before you're the first girl here um you're the first person seeing my pool and just like spread like trying to feed me his lies and seeing if i would actually take them so we get back to his apartment and immediately like we get into it obviously we get into it we go take a shower together and then we get into it it was if i could rate it the experience is uh six out of ten it wasn't bad but it wasn't like something where i was like oh like yes you know like I'm gonna put this out here if you're a young girl or if you're a girl period big dicks aren't like super fun like unless you are a girl with a gripping grip that can fit all of that dick in her coochie i cannot do it <laughs> i can't do it i can't do it i'm sorry it wasn't fun for me it felt it hurt it was painful it felt like i was going doing going to chiropractor so when we were done he was like 
oh are you hungry i'm like yeah i'm hungry but i gotta go to work in the morning so i probably need to leave he's like let me go make you food and he's like do you want to watch something he's like i don't have youtube i don't have um netflix or hulu but you could watch like you could play the game i'm like okay i'll play the game so then he comes in with the food i'm playing his game like keep dying and then i'm like hey i got work in the morning like i gotta go home because at this point it's 2 a.m in the morning and he's like okay that means that we need to go to sleep so i'm like go to sleep so i go we were cuddling we fall asleep together and i'm just like okay i don't understand what the point of this relationship is left his house didn't text me for an entire week so i'm like okay maybe it was just like a first maybe we just fucking get it out period so he starts watching my story again that saturday and i'm like okay what is going on mind you i just shot my music video i'm like okay i'll go fuck with it i'll go hang out with you mind you i was just on a date with somebody so i'm not a date but like we were on like a little a shebang gang so he's like what you like where you at i'm like i could be to you in an hour he's like okay <laughs> and then i was like okay we gotta wrap this date we gotta wrap this up i gotta go i have to be home like I, i'm so sleepy i gotta go home so i get home have my ass in the shower then i go right over to his house and when i get there i'm like hey i just ate korean barbecue like do you have any toothbrushes or anything and he's like yeah i have a toothbrush so then i get to his house where he gives me a toothbrush and like i'm brushing my teeth he's like behind me like we look like a couple i'm like what are we doing right now and he's like i'm like okay i'm about to go throw this away he's like no don't go throw it away put your toothbrush in the cabinet it's not like you're not gonna come back here so i'm like okay and then again like this is when i had to have the conversation of hey are you sleeping with anybody else because i don't want to catch anything because i've been in that position before and i did not like it it did not feel good so like we weren't having unprotected but it's still it's still a, the conscious of i don't want to be doing nothing knowing that you probably have something and he's like no i haven't slept with nobody the last person i slept with was last month mind you we were in june so i'm like okay cool mind you now his lies are not starting to catch up because he said nobody has he has never fucked nobody since he's been in that apartment so then i'm like okay that's cool again we sleep together he asks me to spend the night i spend the night with him and he's like telling me like hey you could have my key like you could come here anytime that you want you could pop up on me when you want like i don't care like i will i'm okay with you coming over like you're cool coming over i'm like okay that's good but i don't see myself popping up on you and showing up on you like that so then mind you then it was like a week after that mind you we didn't text all week call text nothing and then he like texts me like swipes up and he's like oh yeah drip drip in my mouth something like that and then i'm like trying to be sexy and i'm like yes daddy <laughs> and then after that after that like we didn't talk like he didn't hang out he didn't invite me over that saturday like nothing like that so then i text him and i'm like i'm drunk as fuck and i'm like why don't you fuck with me and he's like we fuck with each other on the weekends tell me when you're available again and after that i sent him this young thug tiktok y'all <laughs> i'm gonna put it in the middle it was like i don't care to see bitches <laughs> and then i blocked him i thought that ain't so bad so <laughs> so then we i leave i block him on everything and then he texts me the next weekend and he's like what's the move i'm like oh the move is this event <laughs> and he's like oh i don't think i could go to this i'm like no come out come out let's go out so that's when we went to the club and i'm gonna pop up these pictures where he was shaking my titties taking pictures of me walking around with me holding hands and that's when i was like that's when i screamed like this is not my nigga <laughs> so then um me and him like i start talking to him and i'm like i don't fuck with you because like you are weird and he's like do you want me to take you serious i'm like why the fuck would you ask me if i want you to take me serious bitch just take me serious so then after that night like we we had okay this night was so freaky y'all it was so nasty and freaky that i was just like this was fun as fuck but i gotta block you after because i don't know if i could keep i can't do this again <laughs> i can't do this again i just can't do this again 
so then we go from the club we're like we go from the club we get to his house and it was off from that i stayed over but then it just felt like it felt off i knew i had to cut him off so i blocked him after i blocked him i cut him off and then a week <laughs> y'all a week after that was the event that i told you guys when he brought that girl here so let's get into that event i'm gonna try to tell this part super fast so i call him and he's like and he doesn't pick up i call him again and he's out he facetimes me he's like where have you been you blocked me i've been trying to text you for the last week like what's going on like what's wrong with you and i'm like no like that doesn't matter like where are you at right now and he's like well i'm downtown like do you want to come i'm like yeah i'm gonna come but it's only gonna be me and he's like okay it's me and my friends and he's like oh yeah and girls are like I'm like, okay, is any girls going to be there thinking that his friend is going to bring somebody? He's like, oh, yeah, girls will for sure be here. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, okay. I, I'm like, okay, that's cool. So then being boo, I take an Uber. My friend comes with me. We go and we go to me lab. So then this man, like, he looks like he's trying to play all sides to confuse us like he's going up to my friend asking her what her name is like being like okay like why don't you have your id like trying to talk to her trying to talk to me and then trying to talk to this other girl that was with his friend so i'm thinking he's trying to confuse that girl on who i was or who he invited and then trying to confuse me on who she was so i get to talking to her i'm like hey girl like shake ass i'm shaking ass on her i'm drinking shots i'm like girl have fun and she's like oh yeah i'm having fun like this is my first shot i don't have anything to drink in me we go he's like oh let's just go to my house and go swimming i'm like oh that sounds cool as fuck i'll just go do that so then we go we're walking to the car i mind you i'm talking to this friday night i'm like oh fuck this man like fuck him like who is this bitch and he's like oh, i don't know who she is either like i don't know who she is and um so i'm like okay so obviously gilbert knows who she is so we get into the car and i'm like oh did gilbert get a new car she's like oh this is my car but i'm a little bit too drunk mind you this bitch just took one shot of fucking tequila oh please I, i'm not a drinker and not even one shot could get me acting like i couldn't drive and let a sloppy drunk nigga drive my car be fucking for real so i'm like y'all did this before so she drives his car <laughs> no he drives her car and we go to the liquor store and she starts asking me questions about myself like where do you know him from where do you know gilbert from i'm like i knew gilbert from chicago mind you i've never been to fucking chicago in my entire life bitch i never been to chicago fuck is you talking about and then she's like i'm like ask her on the slick like oh i've never been to his apartments like have you been to his pool recently before and she's like oh yeah i was just there like a while like uh, a week ago mind you i was just at his house a week ago and this is why i don't fuck with you so then we we go to his house and i'm arguing with him the bit mind you the bitch brings in a duffel bag like she was gonna spend the night so then i'm arguing down with him i'm like who the fuck is this bitch and why is she at, at your house right now so i'm trying to fucking play in my face he wakes up his little brother to tell me that his little brother never seen this bitch before so i'm like there's no way that she has never seen her if she's saying that she'd been at your house last week he's like no that's like my old my younger my brother invited her over my brother invited her over not me my brother invited her over no he did not so then we're hanging out we're talking and he's trying to get us all drunk like he's telling her to get drunk he's like what music do you girls dance to not mind the point mind the point we all go to the pool and he starts wanting to play truth or dare he dares this ugly ass bitch to kiss me disrespectfully i say fuck you get the fuck out of my face stop playing it with me then the pool goes awkward second time he gets mad at me because i dipped the bottle mind you the bottle was sealed closed dipped the bottle in an accident in the water he's like why the fuck do you guys keep putting the bottle in the water and like he's trying to yell at me in front of all of them so i yell at him again i yell at him again fuck is you talking about who are you talking to and then the pool got super awkward and everybody left you're not going to talk to me crazy and think that i'm going to sit here and allow you to do it in front of everybody so then we all get out of the pool and we start walking back and I start walking with him and me and him are like fighting each other. We're arguing and I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Then mind you, I spent the night 
I spent the night because I don't know what she thought she was going to do. I don't know if she thought she was going to spend the night at my man's house, but she wasn't going to do it. I'm sorry. So then <laughs> I ended up spending the night with him. And after that, like I had a conversation with him that I could not talk to you no more because last night was really bad. And he played in my face so bad that I don't even think I could glare over or glance over it because that's how bad you played in my face. So then after that situation, I blocked him on everything and have not texted him blocked his number blocked everything left it alone a couple weeks ago i seen him at the club with another girl not the girl that he was out with and they were holding hands they were dancing together it looked like they were there together so then he comes up to me and he's like stares at me like mind you like i'm here with my cousin my cousin's talking to somebody and he's glaring at me and he's like hi he's like i tried texting you saying happy birthday but you you know you look good though and then I'm like, what do you mean? And then he stops and he's like, you know what I mean? And then he walks off. I did call him, did not get a response that night. And then I blocked him the next day. Cause I was like, I would be so fucking stupid if I allowed this man back in my life. Hi everybody. You're not gonna be happy with me when I tell you this. And I know you're not gonna be happy with me. So let's just get out the way. I went to his house again. I did. Immediately after recording that video, I have not talked to him an entire month. He called me and asked, um, he called me and told me to call him back. So I called him back <clears throat> and went over to his house. The first day was pretty cool. It was tight. It was like we were having fun. We were playing games. I was already drinking because I was hanging out with my other friends, knowing that I did not want to go to the club. I was like, fuck it. I want to go. I'll go out with y'all. Went to his house immediately after, drunk as hell, and we hung out obviously we did the do kept on like he kept on asking like why did i block him like acting like he doesn't know told them like why are you lying about like sleeping with other people he's like it doesn't matter right woke up the next day he's playing the video games i'm playing with them his friend calls and his friend is like oh who is that like who's that in the background like is that my sister and he's like fuck no and then i'm like okay like don't say it like that like why'd you say it like that like bitch stop fucking playing with me so then we got into an argument about that and then kind of like just brushed it off then he wanted to go out when i was like uh, i don't know if i want to go out tonight like i don't want to know i don't know and then it was like no let's just go out let's go have fun so i'm like okay cool he wants to get a bottle i'm like okay cool we could drink and get a bottle so i don't gotta pay money when i get into the clubs so he got me a he got us a bottle so bam boom I was sitting there. So we're out and he's like, to like getting mad at me. He kept like pushing my head, like kept on hitting my head and like going like this and being like, come on, let's go in public. And I'm just like, whoa, like calm it down. Mind you, I'm more drunk than him, than him because I'm a light drinker. So he's like pushing me around. So I'm like, okay, cool. And <laughs> when I start hitting him and like, pulling his shirt like this he's like stop because once i start getting um when i if i put my hands on you i'm gonna be in the wrong mind you he was smacking me in the, in the back of my head all night <laughs> and like pulling me and pushing me the entire time right besides the point then this girl tries to go up to him and ask him what his name is bitch i sped walk i said hi my name is zania you know and she's like oh since i'm a girl's girl i'm gonna leave you alone I said, okay, bitch, don't get beat up. <laughs> don't get beat up. <laughs> and then he's like pushing me again, like keeps pushing me. And I'm like, can you stop? And he's like, you're. But yeah, I used to walk off and I start, I'm like sitting down crying because I'm like, I know that I should not be here. He keeps treating me like shit and making me feel worse about myself. I felt the same way when I was with the guy who gave me gave me shit where i was just like i know i should not be here why am i here like this person does nothing for me and he just walks off goes to the car doesn't give a fuck so then i get to the car and he's like telling me like you're broken like you you're broken like you have trust issues and like there was one part where he was like a little bit right oh you were talking to other men all night and once somebody talks to me you start tweaking yeah bitch the fuck like you're here with me bitch i drove us <laughs> <laughs> okay that's a little bit toxic but who cares but he's like you're broken like you just have a lot of problems that i could see that and then he's like telling me to shut the fuck up like 
talking to me mad crazy. And then it's just like, we got back to the house. I didn't want to drive home drunk because I live an hour away. So I'm like, I need to stay here at least so that I could fall asleep. And it just feels like I, okay, I can't, I don't want to feel bad. I'm not going to try to sit here and tell you, oh, I feel so sad. No, bitch, I know exactly what I was doing and I was getting myself into. But it just feels like, fuck, like, damn, why do I always have to go through these things? Like, it makes for a good story time, but it's just so hurtful. Like, a bitch like me, like, I don't know. But yeah, that's the update to the story, the update of the update. Um, I won't be going over there no more. I changed my phone number. He doesn't have access to my phone number. And even if he tries to contact me on Instagram, I'm not going for it. Like, it just, it was just really hurtful last night. But yeah, that's all.